the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 50, Numbers 15 to 17. Moses' is monarch fiasco, a lesson for revolution, God punished those who disobeyed and complained to him and exalted the authority of Aaron the priest. First point. Even after the death of the ten leaders, 250 people still leveled towards Moses. Ten out of twelve leaders were put to death. After coming back from Canaan and with Moses' prayer, the 600,000 Israelites was saved from perishing. The whole incident was lapped up with God's deal that they were to spend a further 40 years in the desert whilst being educated on a kingdom of priests. But regarding the extra 40 years in the desert, Korah from the descendants of Levi and Dathan, Abiram and On from the tribe of Reuben led 250 people to level against Moses. For these 250 people, clearly the death of the ten leaders was not enough. Second point, the level of the 250 people read Moses into a dangerous situation. Due to the rebellion of Korah, Dathan, Abiram, and on, all the efforts from the past year in setting up a kingdom of priests was almost thrown out of the window. Furthermore, a few people from the descendants of Kohath even expressed a problem with only the descendants of Aaron being appointed as a high priest. They failed to understand that this was God's decision and thought that Moses had given privilege to his own brother. Third point, 40 years education in the desert, you cannot fool anyone. Moses was unable to persuade Korah and so he called Dathan and Abiram. He wanted to persuade them but Rather than being persuaded, they rebuked Moses even further. Dathan and Abiram did not go when they were called by Moses and went as far as to claim that Moses wanted to be king among them. Hearing this, Moses was left utterly speechless. Obviously, they had no idea that Moses had pride with his life on the line in order to save them. So Moses fumed in anger. Moses prayed to God not to receive their offering. Instead of handling them in his own way, Moses rather asked God to deal with them according to the rules of a kingdom of priests. Even if the entire Israelites reveled against Moses, the Levites, and particularly Korah, should not have made the rebellion come to this. This indeed would have been one of the most annoying and lonely times in Moses' life. Fourth point, the golden calf instant ended in the death of 3,000 people and the instant of the 250 people riot ended in the death of 15,000 people a battle of 250 people against one person. In front of the tent came 250 people with their anger against Aaron. When Korah stood up against Moses and Aaron, God's presence entered the tent. God's presence had appeared twice in Kadesh Barnea and then again in this scene. So Moses and Aaron knelt down and prayed to God. Then Moses said to the people, This is how you will know that the Lord has sent me. 
to do all these things, and that it was not my idea. As soon as Moses finished talking, the earth opened up and swallowed Korah, as well as the associated people and their possessions. The people who saw this trembled in fear. But the most disappointing thing here was that there were still people who tried to kill Moses and Aaron. But the Lord's presence entered the tent, and Moses and Aaron was able to avoid being killed. Consequently, 14,700 people ended up dying this day. The 10 leaders who went to Canaan, the 250 people who rebelled, and 14,700 people all added up to approximately 15,000 people dying due to one instant. Fifth point, the burning of Aaron's staff was God showing the people an image they understood. During Exodus, a great deal of effort was put into making sure that everyone was safe. However, due to the incident of the golden calf, 3,000 people were killed, and later, 15,000 people were killed in Kadesh Barnea. Despite all this, God continued with a kingdom of priests and even made Aaron's stop but so that the people could respect him as a high priest. This was God's way of communicating on the same level as the Israelites. God wanted the people to stop complaining. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.